Wahahaha, <laughs> hello, how are you feeling, princess? Nothing makes me happier than a smile from you, Peach. Well, tough luck. I'm in a very bad mood, you monster. You've imprisoned all the guests in the castle. You are the single greatest disaster to ever befall the Mushroom Kingdom. I'll tell you what, I'll smile when you make everything as it was before you showed up. Guahaha, <laughs> oh, that's rich. You know I can't do that. That jerk martyr just beat the Koopa Brothers and Tootin' Koopa. Sure, they were complete wimps, but ha they were still loyal to me. I can't forgive Mario for disrespecting me. I'm nipping this in the bud right now. I'm going to use the invincible tubba blubba on him. He's the strongest creature I know. After me. You best forget about Mario. Your nastiness. We have a problem. Why, Kami Koopa? What's got you so riled up? You look upset. Well, the star spirit flew away from Tubba Blubba's castle. King Bowser, keep your voice down. Princess Peach will hear you. Hmm, yes, right. Tell me the details over there. Wait, did you hear that? Yes, I sure did. The star spirit must have escaped. Did you hear about that calling that type of other thing invincible? That doesn't sound good. Do you think Mario can win? We'd better try to find out about Tubba Blubba. If we can find something, anything about a weak point, it might just save Mario. Good idea. Then there's no time to lose. We won't get anything done for staying this room. Now, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to some more Paper Mario in the last part. We beat the shit out of Tootin' Koopa and dried right and saved the second Star Spirit. In this part. We are going to do the second Peach interlude. Now uh, we just have to sneak out. Now we got gained the knowledge of being able to sneak out of this from the last chapter. Now we just have to uh, kind of go through this scene again. You don't have to go through this scene in the later chapters, but... um. Now, this um, door will no longer be locked. There's still guards out there. Be careful not to get caught. Now, I'm going to warn you if you're doing a 100% run. Um, this main door is what we need to go to beat the chapter. However, there's other things we need to do. Now, we essentially need to avoid getting caught by the guards. Because if we do, that's not the room we need to be in. But um, if we get caught by the guards, we go back to Preach's... We get sent back to Peach's room. So, be a little careful on that. It's like Metal Gear Solid or... Iron Castle on Ocarina of Time. Now, it's Deep Focus Batch. Now, um... There, we're gonna... Have a look there. What a beautiful craft and treasure chest. Yes, do you like it? This is a mysterious treasure chest, chest that's been passed down through generations of my family here at the castle. Really? How mysterious. A mysterious treasure chest. That's right. This chest is connected to another mysterious treasure chest somewhere in the Mushroom Kingdom. They say you put things in the chest and take them out in the other chest and that well... Yeah, it's really cool. So where's the other treasure chest anyway? Er, where is it? You know, I can't remember. Now, we're going to put the deep focus badge in there. So, um, yeah, um, there are three badges you can find in Keej's Castle. You, you can access them with either Peach or Mario at the end of the game, but, like, you ideally want to get them early, including the one that's going to be in this main room. There are guards out here, too. Probably lots of them. We better be extra careful. Now we just gotta avoid this guy. You know, I've played Metal... I've played Metal Gear Solid 1 and 2, so, like, I know what it's like to, like, dodge these. We just gotta go and, uh... Wait till he goes upwards. And I believe there's gonna be a guard... Yeah, there's a guard coming here, so we gotta wait till he's out of the way. However, if we go over here, we get the Power Rush badge. When Mario is in danger, his attack power increases by two. Very solid badge if used properly. So because of that, I'm actually going to go all the way back to the chest in the other room and basically see if I can get back, get it in the if I can get it in the chest. Because if we can claim it as Mario later, that'd be a sweet spot. Because imagine Quake Hammer with attack up by two. Yeah, chapter three is around the time I start using what is called danger strats, where like you're in, you put yourself in danger and you get more benefits. It's a 
Danger strats and peril strats are commonly used in Paper Mario speedrunning. I'll get more into this when we get into Chapter 3. So, um, we're going to put the uh, Power Rush badge in the chest. We put in Power Rush, so we'll have that as Mario later on. So, um, now all we really have to do is go back and, uh, we have to go back to the, uh, the room see if we can get a clue about, uh, Tubba Blubba. Or this apparent Tubba Blubba. Now wait till he's out of the way. Out of the way, so that's great, so, um... We just have to follow him, he won't see us, unless we get too close. Yeah, that, I knew that guard from earlier was coming, so, um, that's the last of the guards you have to get past, though. And this is where the power rush badge was, but, um, if we go over here... Hey, have you heard about Master Tubba Blubba? I heard a rumor that he le loves eating ghosts. Ah, uh, ghosts, huh? Master Tubba Blubba, he lives deep inside of Forever Forest, doesn't he? I think he's guarding one of the Star Spirits right now. Yeah, Master Tubba Blubba lives in the castle on top of Gusty Gulch. I heard that someone near his castle is a mansion in a village full of ghosts. Yes, Master Tubba Blubba sometimes goes there to catch bows. And then when he catches one, he gobbles it down and starts with its head. Shump. Grr, oh man, that's scary. Now I won't be able to walk in the bathroom alone and I'm gonna have nightmares. I know it. Why did you tell me? I also heard the Master Tavern Tubble is invincible. They say he can't be hurt. Not even, a, not even, nobody can even scratch him. He might even be stronger than King Bowser. Stronger than King Bowser? Come on, that's impossible. Even Master Tavolo has some, has some weak points. It's just common sense. Yeah, you may be right. There's another rumor that tavolo has got a secret that would ruin him if it ever got out. I bet it's about his past. I already didn't used to be strong at all. What if Tabba Blubba hears you? He might gobble us up. Still, what do you think his secret could be actually? I don't know. No one knows. That's why it's a secret, you half-wit. Wink. It sounds like Tabba Blubba has a weak point after all. If only we could find out. Huh? Hey, did you hear someone talking just now? Gasp! Do you think someone knows we're going goofing off in here? Oh, whoa, Princess Peach, how'd you get in here? I'm sorry to do this, but you have to go back to your room right now. No, no. Thank you, Mario. At last, I can have head home to Star Haven. My name is Maymar, so nice to meet you in person. You still got a long way to go, so I best know you can save Princess Peach. I'll do my best to help you. Here's a present from you. Mario Star Energy goes up to two. Mario can now use Lullaby, a new star spirit power. With Lullaby, you can make all enemies fall asleep. Call me when times are bad. Believe in this, Mario. My powers are strong. I'm a star spirit, after all. Hmm, hmm. Our powers are growing all the time. Keep up the good work, Mario. You must save the other star spirits as soon as possible. For now, I'm going back to recover in Star Haven. Who knows how my dear old Star Haven is faring without the Star Rod. Goodbye, Mario. I'm off. Alright, so all we have to do now is leave dry is leave dry dry ruins. And now um this is really the last we can do in chapter two, because we got all the tasty items we need for her recipes. We got all the uh we beat dry dry ruins. We don't really have to do many other things. Is what I'm trying to get across. And believe it or not, there's a letter in that um there's a letter in this tree, except we cannot get it yet. That's so we're gonna have to come back later and get that. However, what? Well, look, no clues about the ruins. I'm getting so frustrated. I might have to give up the evacuation for now. How very sad. I say, Mario, is that artifact you're holding in your hand? It looks like it looks quite important. Can't wait to see me. Is that a clue in Brighter Ruins? Mario, old chum, I beg you, you boss me power with it. We give him the artifact. Cheers, Mario. Smashing, really, old boy. 
Soon now, the mysterious dried up ruins will fry from the sounds, the sands that conceal them. As a brilliant archaeologist, the same must be so. I suppose the thank you gift is in order, eh, old boy? Here you go, then. We got a star piece. So, um, you know, a bit of the magic of the desert. Cherish the memory, old boy. So, yeah, I guess, um, we're back in, I guess we're in, I guess we're back in, uh, I guess we're back in uh, Mount Rugged. Now, interesting thing is, if you never fought Buzzar earlier, like um, if you just said Luigi and he ignored you, he'll just confront you again. If you just say Luigi, you never. This is a completely optional boss. It's the first of the optional bosses in this game. So all we really have to do is take the train back to Toe Town. When we're in, once we're in Toe Town, I'm gonna tackle some Chapter Two side quests, some post Chapter Two side quests. So um. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to get to all the Chapter 2 side quests, but we're going to get to a lot of them. So, uh, yeah, and, um, I guess what we have to do now is take the train back to, uh, the Toad Town, um, take train back to However, before we leave, there's one right here, and, uh, believe it or not, um, there's another super block. I'm actually going to be upgrading Goombario, and yes, you may be wondering why the fuck I'm not upgrading Bombette yet. So, um, don't worry. I'll get to upgrading Bombette eventually, because this is 100%. Believe it or not, I don't actually use Bombette much, and I'll get into more reasons why later on. And we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna take the train to the Toe Town Station, because... But we need to tackle some side quests. Anyway, so once we... We're, we can actually skip the cutscene for once, believe it or not. Alrighty, so, um... I guess what we can do now is, um, we're actually gonna take one, we're actually gonna take a quick trip to the, uh, Toe Town Playground, because I want to do some more cheating, a, I mean, coin grabbing. Okay, we're gonna do the nine block option, and, uh, last time, I create a save state, and, uh, yeah, I'll do that. No, that's the first Bowser. Well, now we know where both the Bowsers are, so, um... Wait, wait, what? Was that? that was the Bowser I already grabbed, never mind. There's two Bowsers in the set. And oh yeah, we just got 355 coins and we got 700 coins out of this. And guess what? We have max coins now, so we'll pro we probably won't have to go back here for a while. Yeah, this trick only works. I've said this before, this trick only works when you're playing a re-release. Anyway, so now um, what we're going to do now is we're going to tackle more tasty recipes. Actually, no, I don't have the right recipes, so I'll be right back. But actually, first, um, we're just going to buy some badges. We're going to buy the uh, Dodge Master badge, which will make the Ash Command work more frequently. We'll buy the Sleep Stomp badge. And uh, we'll buy the Double Dip badge. All really solid badges. So, um... And I guess we'll just take more items out of the shop so we can make the taste tea recipes. So, um, so what we're going to take out of the shop, we are going to take out, uh, we're going to take, um, we're going to take the, we're going to take the, um, we're going to take the, um, think we need, uh, I'm trying to think for a second. We need, um, we need the fire flower and we need the, um, we need the dried pasta, and uh, I think we need the lemon and lime, but I could be I think we need the, actually that gets us, uh, 
Those both get us the same items, so, um... Yeah, I think that's all we can really use for now, so, um... That's, that'll be an additional two tasty recipes. Three tasty recipes, actually. We got two tasty recipes. There's gonna be no more badges left, so, um... We're gonna use the fire flower and um, we're gonna use the uh We get the spicy soup if we get a fire flower and um, we're gonna use the dried pasta And that gets us the spaghetti which um this is something we're gonna need in a little bit, so I'm gonna put. The, I'm gonna go check those uh, recipes. I'm gonna sell one of them and check the others. Or right, first, let's see. Let's check the post office really quickly. All right, so we have a letter for Bombette from Driver Railroad. Dear Miss Bombette, we write this letter as a humble request to you. You must. We're the most worthy and explosive of all the bombs. It's still a long time off, but later this year we will be staging an opening event for a new Dry Dry Railroad route. We feel the event would be a gala bash if we could enlist the bob on bursting help. Crowds love fireworks. Anyway, we'll get in touch with you even after your adventure ends to confirm the dates. Apparently, the Dry Dry Railroad Transportation Department. Would you like to read more letters? No. Anyway, so, um... We're just gonna put the, uh, spaghetti in the, uh... I'm gonna put the spaghetti in the uh, shop because we're gonna need it later for a specific side quest. Yeah. The check, and we're gonna check the uh, spaghetti. I don't think we need the spicy soup, so we're just gonna sell that. However, I wanna check our house really quick. What's Luigi up to? He's not outside, so he's gotta be in the house. If we check, um, we have seven taste tea recipes, 21 star pieces, and 29 badges, and four Chuck Quizmo quizzes. So we're doing, we're off to a really good start. If we check our mailbox, there's one from the Koopa Troopas. Dear Mario, thank you so much for taking care of our fuzzy problem. You use the Koopa Troop, we the Koopa Troopas in the village really appreciate what you've done for us. We must apologize for not warning you with anything, but we are simple, but simple Koopas. Please drop by the village whenever you like. Anytime I'd like to be our honor. But that's all I call all. Sincerely, Koopa Troop is at Koopa Village. Yeah, Luigi's doing somewhere down there, and we cannot exactly go there yet. So, um... Anyway, so, um... Now, um... I'm gonna do a badge adjust, but first we're going to go up, up the Shooting Star Summit. We're gonna go to a, we're gonna do a shooting we're gonna go to shooting starts on first and uh, first we're gonna do a badge adjustment but um we're gonna go to shooting starts I mean, remember the uh, badges that we got in uh, we got from Peach that Pe we let Peach put now the other chest location is in the house at star at shooting stars on it. So I guess we can take the Power Rush badge, which we're gonna use a lot throughout the course of this game, and the Deep Focus badge. So um, we're gonna do a badge adjust. Now I'm gonna get rid of HP plus. I think I'm gonna get rid of Damage Dodge too and replace it with. I'll place it with Close Call. I'll replace it with Pretty Lucky, and I'll place it with Power Rush. And I'll replace Quake Hammer with Hammer Throw. Actually, wait a second. Even better, smash charge than hammer throw. Because I have an, I have a unique take on how I'm gonna approach one of these upcoming areas. I'm the famous Merlot shooting star. Uh, yeah, so we're gonna see if we can chop about it. So um, we'll be able to afford chill out, which because our let's get happy heart. We can't really afford any more badges, though, unfortunately. So, um, yeah, so we're doing pretty good on badges for this point in the game. So, um, there's one more thing I want to do, except I think Boom Barrio might be one of the best party members for this. Um,
Now, um, let's just say, um, this is a very risky, there's a mini boss we're going to fight shortly. There's a mini boss we're going to fight shortly. However, let's just say, um, it's a little tough as part of the game. I'm going in, I'm doing an insanely risky method of fighting him. However, I'm doing an insanely risky method of fighting him, and like, there's a chance I might not be even able to beat him, but, um... We'll see what we can do. So we're gonna go down to the Toad Town Tunnels. And, um, I'm actually going to do a quick save right here because, um, because let's just say I might not do this on the first try. Now, if we get that, with, after, we can only do this after we're doing Blooper. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Electro Blooper. So, um, Electro Blooper. So we're gonna charge our hammer. We're gonna charge our hammer. We're gonna charge with both Mario and Goombario. And this is the reason I decided to upgrade Bomb Goombario over Bombat. Wow, that actually failed to get, we didn't even get hit by that. So yeah, we're just gonna charge a f for a few minutes. We're gonna charge until we get in danger. However, um, let's just say, there's a trick you can do to, if, when he gets electrified. You can jump on him, and he'll get rid of the electrified status. So that's one way you don't... You'll take massive damage otherwise. So yeah, we, we can afford one more hit, so let's charge with Mario. I think Electro Blooper has like 50 HP. So thankfully, um, Electro Blooper, once we get it, we'll be in danger, so, um, we'll charge one more time, and uh, next turn we should be able to beat him. Unfortunately, we didn't get a lucky, so one more hit and we're dead, so we might as well risk it. We're gonna use a hammer throw. That only did 12 damage, shit. Um, okay, uh, let's use a Super Shrum, because this went nowhere near as good as I thought it was going to go. And Goombario, you might as well head bonk, I don't know if, I don't care if you're just going to get out a turn. And we're going to, thank God for this, okay, I went, do not try this at home, kids, because I went nowhere near as, as prepared as I thought I was going to go. We're gonna charge. We're gonna charge and zap ourselves. And then we're gonna charge with Goombar. We're gonna do this so we run out of FP, regardless of our danger or not. Alright, one more charge and we should do this. And thank god we can get hit, so we got lucky right there. So we're gonna hammer throw. And he's down! Don't try this at home, kids. And the interesting thing is, once we get out of here, once we get through these pipes, we go to this pipe right here. We can go straight to Goomba Village. Go straight to Goomba Village. So, um, we're just gonna rest in the Toad House really quickly, but there is a letter we want to give to, uh, Goompapa. But we are gonna rest in the Toad House first. Now, I will say, once you get, once you're able to travel these areas faster, I'd say the worst of this game is behind you. First, we're gonna try to see if we can manipulate Chuck Quizmo's placement. So I wanna see if I can get in a question with him. 
Is he not appearing? Is he not appearing? Not appearing. He's not appearing. Yeah, you can basically use these pipes to manipulate the versions. Hi, Mario. How you doing? You're Goompapa, correct? The name's Terry I deliver letters. I believe I have one for you. Hang on a moment. And another letter duly delivered. A postman's job is never done. Hey, thanks. Much obliged, Mr. Our postal worker. Oh, great news. Fishing is one of my hobbies, and this is from a friend who's playing a fishing trip. I can't wait. Oh, sorry, pilot worker. Can I give you a letter? It's, if it's all possible for you, could you deliver this to to a toad named Musty? He hangs around the castle garden. I really appreciate it. A letter to Musty near Peach's castle. So, um, yeah, that's what we can do for now. Now, there's more we can explore right here, so, um... If we go over here, um... Be more of these stronger enemies, but, um... If we go over here, we get the Power Smash Bad, which is like the Power Jump Bag, except it works with the Hammer. Very solid. Now, wait till these Goombas go down. Platforms goes up, and this and there's gonna be another block. And there's gonna be another super block right here. However, we want to get the star piece first. Another star piece. So um, yeah. Once we uh up there, we want to ride these platforms, and finally. And finally, once and for all, um, Bombat's gonna be upgraded. So yeah, that's really solid. So, um... I guess, um, there's not really much we have left to do in this area. We're just gonna go back to the beginning of, uh, Toad Town Sewers, and, um... I guess um, we can really lay it off for this part of uh, Paper Mario. So next time on Paper Mario, there are still some si a few side quests we have to get done in Toe Town area up to Chapter Three. We will do those. So I'll see you guys next time.